Hello everyone and welcome back to the X-Ring. So I have had a chance to shoot a lot of different firearms and one of the ones that we've shot quite a bit, not only the Victrix, but also Sabatis. And I wasn't familiar with Sabatis. Sabati is an Italian company. Uh, this is one of their competition style rifles. And my understanding is, is these are actually going to be coming to the US possibly this year, uh, if they're not already here. Now, Sabati is not a new company. I think the oldest company in existence right now is going to be Beretta when it comes to this, but Sabati is just behind them. I think they've got about three centuries of gun work behind them, and their claim to fame was actually barrel manufacturing. Um, this was a model that I've been shooting over the weekend. It is chambered in 308. Um, this is like what we usually use in precision rifle shooting. It has a heavy barrel here. It actually measures at 1.1 at the muzzle. Uh, it does have a thread protector. This is actually going to be in 5H24. And this rifle right here also has the multi-radial rifling. And what that multi-radial rifling does is apparently it is not your traditional type of rifling. Instead of being traditionally cut with your lands and grooves and not polygonal rifling, it kind of doubles it. And what that does is it increases velocity by about 12% and it's supposed to go longer without cleaning. Now, the biggest thing about Sabati is they claim quarter MOA guarantee on their rifles. Now, that's, that's pretty impressive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it to the test, but I do wanna cover this rifle because the price point is only gonna be about 2,500 US dollars. And I know a lot of you guys might say, well, $2,500, well, that puts it in the Tika T1X range. It puts it in a lot of other ranges of rifles without going to a full custom rifle. So I think this might actually be a pretty darn good option. It does have an adjustable cheek riser. Uh, the bolt itself, this is very reminiscent of a Remington 700. It does have a little bit of slot back here, uh, like you'll kind of feel on the Daniel Defense rifles, but it's not a bad thing. It doesn't necessarily have to not have any jiggle in order to shoot well. Uh, but it does have a magazine. I wish it was a double stack magazine. Unfortunately, uh, it is a single stack metal magazine like this and it feeds well. I've had zero issues with the Sabatis and I've shot a lot of them here. One of the things though is they all shoot very, very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this at 100 meters. I'm going to do two three shot groups uh, just to see if it'll hold up to that quarter MOA claim. As far as anything else with it, like I said, just basically like a Remington 700 action, uh, the trigger does not look adjustable. I don't know for a fact that it is based off the Remington 700, so I don't know if you can drop a trigger tech in here, but this is a really, really good looking rifle. It has some good weight to it. Remember, I don't have any scales here, so I can't check the weight of it. So let's go ahead and get this thing shooting and let's see if we can print a group less than, let's say, half a minute. All right, so we'll try to put this body to the test. We're going to shoot on target number six. We're going to be shooting Federal Gold Medal Match 175 grain and uh, we'll do it at 100 meters. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera right here. You guys have got a decent angle on this. And here we go. <sighs> All right, 100 meters, target number six. And I'll show you the target as soon as I get done with the group. Okay, that is a pinwheel bullseye. Same hole, just a little bit bigger, not much, but there's two shots in the dead center. A little bit of mirage going on down there. Guys, that is a three shot group and it's gonna measure about a quarter. Let me go ahead and flip the camera around. You guys will be able to see it up here. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this around. All right, guys, there's the group I just shot. That's three shots out of this Sabati. 308. Uh, like I said, this isn't the only one. I've shot quite a few of these and it is a beautiful, beautiful rifle. Uh, so if this hits a market in the U.S. at around $2,500, I think it's a really, really good option, especially if it's got a good quality barrel.
All right, so here's another option from Sabati. Now this one is more of an F-class or bench rest style rifle. Has a flat stock on the bottom of it. Still uses the same style magazine, uh, which is going to be that metal one. I believe this is a three shot, which is gonna look like this. And the action on this is actually different. So the action on this one is more of a three lug design with a short, like a little 60 degree throw. Whereas the other one is a two lug design on the more tactical model over there. So I'm gonna shoot this. I uh, don't know if I have enough ammo or the ammo that it actually likes, uh, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna put this in a little bench rest setup or a little F-class setup, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so they're telling me to try 175 Federal Gold Medal Match. I don't think this rifle likes it, but we'll try it anyway. I mean, why not? Um, opportunity to shoot some uh, shoot somebody else's ammo, unfortunately. But um, here we go, three rounds of Federal Gold Medal 175. And I'm gonna shoot on target five. I know it's a little blurry, the uh, lens down there needs to be cleaned. We were shooting, shooting a bunch of steel yesterday. All right, here we go. <clears throat> target five. It's gonna have a different point of impact, I'm sure. Probably lower. Same hole. Okay, so not bad. I don't think it was me, but it could have been. Uh, but that's still a pretty respectable group. That's going to definitely measure about a 0 0.3, 0 0.4. It's probably All right, so we're going to try another three-shot group with the 175s just to see if we can better it here on number two. The other stuff that you see down there is us screwing around with 22s and everything else. So here we go. Target number two. Okay, there's the first shot. Same old. And one more. Let's see if we can follow it up. Let's see if we can get that quarter inch MOA guarantee. No pressure. Look at that. Good shooting. And just to show you guys, that's 100 meters right there. And that's where we're shooting. Top left corner of that target. And then here's the rifle. There's that scope we're looking at. It's probably going to be a little tighter than the other one for sure, but that's with 175. So that's one of the things that I've seen is with these Sabatis, I've just seen multiple rifles just shoot sub half MOA groups. Pretty impressive little setups. Isn't this the coolest setup? I get to ride scooters and shoot at the same time without hopefully killing myself. Let's try it again. You guys can see this 100 meters. Here we go. Whoa. One handed. All right, so hopefully I don't die. <laughs> Beats walking. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.